Hi, this is Nanette Hosenfeld with the National Weather Service in Salt Lake City, Utah. This is a briefing regarding a winter storm that will bring snow to the state beginning Sunday evening. There's currently a storm system off the coast of the western United States, and you can see this highlighted in the satellite image. This winter storm will move across the region early this week and will bring snow to the state tonight through late Monday. The main impacts from this approaching storm will be winter driving conditions and increasing avalanche danger on Monday. Precipitation will begin to fall Sunday evening, but the most significant travel impacts are expected Monday afternoon as snow lowers the valley floor. And you can see UDOT for detailed road weather information, and the link to their website is on the left-hand side of the screen. Now, the new snow with this storm will result in increasing avalanche danger across northern and central Utah on Monday. You can check out the Utah Avalanche Center for more avalanche information, and their website is on the right hand, bottom right-hand side of the screen. Taking a closer look at the impacts of this storm on travel, looks like the most significant travel impact will be on Monday afternoon, as I mentioned earlier, as snow levels lower to the valley floors. Snow will begin across a higher elevation Sunday night, with winter driving conditions across the higher passes of central and northern Utah, particularly Parley Summit along Interstate 80. Then by Monday afternoon, winter driving conditions are expected across much of Utah and southwest Wyoming, with periodic impacts on major interstates, pretty much from the Idaho border south through about Beaver. And although snow showers are expected to taper off Monday evening, icy roads are possible into Tuesday. And again, you can see UDOT for some uh, great detailed road weather information, and their website is on the bottom of the screen. Now as far as timing with the storm, it looks like precipitation will begin Sunday evening as, as snow across the higher elevations of northern and central Utah, and as a rain-snow mix across the valleys of northern and central Utah. As the cold front associated with this storm moves through the state on Monday, snow levels will begin to fall, and snow will mix down to the valley floors uh, late morning, early afternoon on Monday. And the heaviest snowfall across the Wasatch Front is expected to be uh, late Monday morning through Monday afternoon. So you're probably wondering how much snow we're going to get with this storm. Right now it's looking like the mountains of northern Utah will see between 8 and 14 inches. Uh, the mountain valleys will see between 4 and 9 inches. Uh, benches, we're looking at generally 3 to 8 inches, and along the valley floors, 1 to 4 inches. And with the northern mountain numbers, we could see some locally higher amounts in the Cottonwood Canyons. So with this forecast, we have pretty high confidence that we'll see statewide snow through Monday. We have slightly less confidence in the snow accumulation numbers that I mentioned on the last slide, but we do feel pretty good about them. Now our area of lowest confidence is in regards to whether precipitation will fall as rain or snow in the valleys on Sunday night. Right now we're expecting that most valleys will see rain, but if conditions are a bit colder than forecast, this precipitation could fall as snow, and this would affect the snow totals that we have forecast. And this is especially true northern Watch and Cache Valleys. So, just to quickly summarize, a winter storm will bring snow to the state beginning Sunday evening, and this will continue through Monday. The heaviest snowfall with this storm will fall on Monday afternoon. Winter, winter driving conditions are expected statewide on Monday, and there is a potential for icy roads into Tuesday. Snowfall will taper off Monday evening, and the good news is that it looks like this active pattern will continue with the potential for another storm later this week. So, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to send us an email. Our email address is on the screen. You can also like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter.